Hey, Christy Matuni here with Mind Rewire. I promised you a video the other day on how I use ivermectin for space. And so that's exactly what this is going to be about. So stay tuned, subscribe to my channel and share this. If it helps you, it will probably help somebody else. Thank you very much. Okay, here we are. Christy Matuni here with Mind Rewire. I want to show you how I use ivermectin for space. That's right. You see it right here before me. Um, I have used this quite a bit over the last probably eight months at this point since COVID began. I saw a doctor um, talk about it on a video when this COVID thing first all started. And um, I'm an asthmatic. I have quite a bit of trouble um, with um, my lungs and different things. And that's what COVID was all about. So um, I was been really careful um, to try and have stuff available that I could use that was easy to use. And this happened to be one of the things. So I'm gonna show you um, exactly what this looks like. And they're both kind of the same. They're a little bit different, but this is exactly what you're gonna see is a syringe like this. I lost the cap for it. There's usually a cap on the top of it. So here's the cap, All right? You take the little cap off. If you look at the syringe, See if I can turn this real quick. You're gonna see a white um, little thing up here at the top of it. You can turn that to the side and then this will slide. It'll slide up and down um, the plunger here. And if you look really closely at this, let me see if I can scan in here. You'll see numbers along, right along here, right? So my understanding of this, and this came from um, a couple of different doctors, is that pound for pound, you dose this like you would a horse for a human. Okay, so that's what I've been doing. I haven't been growing horse teeth. I haven't grown horse hoofs. I haven't grown horse hair, which is what the joke always is. People will ask that question, right? But no, none of that stuff has happened. So basically what you do is if you look at this, like this first first line down here says 250 pounds. Um, and if you do the math on it, you start counting. Every one of these notches is 50 pounds worth. All right. So if you are 250 pounds, you would come to, let me look at it over here, come to the 250 pound line. And then if you turn, there's an arrow on this particular, when you have to play with this, let me see if you can see it in there. If you turn it, it slides. If I turn it to the arrow, it gets stationary. It won't move. And then I can plunge, I can push the plunger in and then the stuff would come out. This tube is almost empty, which is why nothing came out. All right, and then I would just count again for my next dose, how many, how many lines, right? So if I'm 200 pounds, I would use four lines, basically is what it equates to, which is what I've been doing. And I'm only 180 pounds, so I can go a little bit less, but um, it hasn't hurt me. I don't have any side effects. Um, the only thing it has done is when I was told I had pneumonia, the doctor refused to give me medication. My little hometown doctor here refused to give me medication, um, except for the typical treatment, which was a round of um, prednisone and then some really horrific antibiotic um, that I refused to take. I was just like, oh my gosh, I don't even know what this crap is. And the side effects are way worse than suffering through um, pneumonia, which is kind of harsh to say, but it's true. I started taking this, right? I called America's frontline doctors. I absolutely did that. And I told him I had this and he told me how to use it. He goes, here's what I would do. And he goes, for the next eight days or so, do this very consistently at a prescribed dosage, which is for around 200 pounds. He also sent me hydrochloroquine. And then he also sent me um, an antibiotic that was just really super basic. And I took that for five days. I was totally fine within three days after I started taking this at the right dosage. Okay. So what I did, I am not recommending this for anybody. I don't sell this stuff. I bought it at the horse store, at the equine store, at the tractor store down the street. Um, I've also bought it at Chewy.com. You can get this particular brand at Chewy, the Duravet, for $3.99 a box. This one is apple flavored. 
not that that helps any, it doesn't really matter. This one's plain, um, but it's from Bar Barnam, Barnam, right? So um, it's 1.87% ivermectin paste. That's what you're looking for with nothing else in it. That's all you want is the 1.7%. And there are boxes that look just like this. It's ivermectin plus. It's got something else in it. You don't want that one. You just want the plain ivermectin. So what I do, and this one is almost empty, so I'm backing this thing all the way up to the end. It's got one more dose left in it. I want you to see what it looks like. And then I've got a test subject here so you can watch and see that nothing happens when he takes it, right? So that's what it looks like. It's just a clear gel. That's all this is. What I do with it, right? So now I've seen people take it and just stick it in their mouth before. It's kind of gross if you do that. I don't recommend doing that. I don't recommend you shooting it straight into your mouth like they do for horses. That's like nasty. I have a friend that says she doses it out onto her finger and then wipes it all over her teeth and then rinses it down with water. I don't recommend that. I know another person, oops, that says, <laughs> now I've got it all over the table. Another person who says she puts it on her peanut butter and jelly sandwich every morning, but she can't taste it. So she's like, it doesn't matter. I just mix it in with the peanut butter. Here's what I do. I take a shaker bottle. It's got the little metal ball in here. I'm going to grab this little metal ball and I dose the, the stuff, right? The ivermectin. And I put it on the ball. I leave the ball in the inside the jar, right inside the shaker bottle. And I just squeeze it and then I rub it off on the, on the shaker ball, that's it. Put the lid on it. There's enough water in here. It's probably about four ounces of water to barely cover the shaker ball. I used to fill it all the way up and then you'd have to drink it all. I just put enough to, to mix it up, right? And then you shake the snot out of it. It will get a little bit foamy. Right, that's what it looks like after you've shaken it. Right, and then I've got my trusty little friend over here. This is Brandon. We pour it into a glass. We do this pretty much every morning or every night. And he takes his dose of it, right? It's exactly the way I take my dose of it. It's definitely gross. He says it's gross. I don't think it tastes like anything, but he doesn't like textures either. And so it does make the water a little bit more viscous than water would normally be, but that's about it. Make sure you also fill it up a double time. Drink that one too. There you go, right? So slam another glass of water afterwards just to keep it moving through your system. That's it. Super simple, super easy. You can buy this at your local farm store, um, Murdoch's kind of place. They've had it there. These places now, because this started a while ago, do have signs posted say that this is not for human consumption. Notice the horse, oops, right over here. Notice the horse, meant for horse consumption. I am not a horse. I have taken it for almost eight months now and have strayed away from getting super, super sick with any of this stuff that's going on. I did get pneumonia. I was told it was the kind of pneumonia that comes from COVID which I was like, whatever that means, and then denied medication because I wouldn't take the shot and I wouldn't do a test. This saved my life, I'm pretty sure, right? I would have been in a lot of trouble. I've had pneumonia before. I've had asthma my whole life, so, right? Here's the other thing I do when I take this kind of stuff, and as you get to know me, you'll know that this is just kind of my thing, and it's the kind of stuff I do. When I pick up a glass of water, and any glass of water, it doesn't matter, right? I have cups all around me oddly right now I have any liquid if you touch it if you hold on to it you are imparting energy into that liquid from whatever state of being that you're in at the time that you touch it if I come into my heart center if I get heart centered and I come into this space and this is a secret space of the most high this is mentioned in Psalms 91 right just for one instance the secret space of the most high that's your heart space that's where god resides that's where heaven is right you said heaven is in you think heart right your spirit resides here that part of you that moves on when this physical body dies 
And if you stay in that space long enough, you will feel a peace that passes all understanding. It's the craziest, coolest peace that I think um, I've ever been able to find myself and that I've ever guided anybody to is in your heart space. So when I go to take, got my necklace all screwed around here. When I go to take this kind of stuff, I will hold the water in my hands first, effectively blessing it. And I will say, I bless this water, bring anything good into it, take anything negative out of it. Speak words over it. Your words matter. What you say matters, how you think matters, how you feel matters. And so if I'm doing that from a state of peace, what am I doing to this water? I'm transforming it, right? I'm transforming it. The highest benefit for me in this moment right now. And then I drink it. Does that help? Does that make sense? <laughs> I hope this blesses you as I hope that it blesses me. And share this. If it helps you, share it, right? If you didn't know how to take this stuff before or how to do this, um, now you do. I don't know where that shot went. Remember, it's pound for pound. Human to horse is what I have been taught. I don't recommend you do this. I am not a doctor. I am a crazy person who does things and tries things out on myself. I test it. Go test it, right? You won't know until you test it, right? So every little notch is 50 pounds. From where this line is, where that line is, to the 250 is, is five notches, right? So I, I do the math. Right? And then I test it on myself. It's the only way you're going to find out. It's the only way you're going to know. I've never had a, a side symptom. I've never had an adverse reaction. Not once. Been doing this for about eight months. I hope that blesses you. Come back. Subscribe to my channel if this helps. We'll be doing more. I'm going to be doing a couple of free classes on heart coherence. What exactly I was just now talking about. I'm also going to do one on um, getting your brain coherent. So just hemisphere to hemisphere coherent. So you can clear subconscious issues and get yourself into alignment for all this stuff that's coming next. But I think it's going to be wonderful. And if you are in tune with your spirit and the Holy Spirit, it's going to be even more fun going into it. All right. So I will talk to you again soon. Thanks for being here.